Hey guys, welcome to episode number 130. We're standing inside of the second bedroom in the new apartment. Uh, this is the spare bedroom. And uh, this is where I'm going to set up shop eventually with the uh, aquariums. Uh, as you can see here, I have two 40 gallon breeder tanks. Uh, I have two more at home, which will go over there, uh, making a total of four tanks here all in a row. And uh, these ones I actually got uh, on sale at Petco. They're doing the dollar per gallon sale. So if you're thinking about getting a tank, uh, go out and get one now. I think it ends on the 19th. So take advantage of that. Uh, sorry, it's a little echoey in here, but uh, it's a big old house. So the plan is to build some of my uh, DIY stands. Uh, I'll definitely use the 2x4s to support the weight of these tanks because they are so heavy uh, when they're full. And I'm going to design each stand uh, to carry one tank. So four separate stands all in a row. And uh, I might actually bolt them together so that, uh, you know, they're kind of one, one unit. But uh, I can take them apart and move them around if I want to. That's the idea anyways. And I am going to uh, record a bunch of videos on setting these up. I'm going to do it the right way. Um, I'm looking for an epoxy based paint to paint the, uh, the back of the tank on the outside. And uh, I'm going to drill all of these tanks. I'll, I'll film some videos of drilling these tanks for an overflow. Uh, I'm also considering uh, putting the drain lines uh, through the wall down into the basement uh, into the, uh, the drain line itself and uh, I'm, I'm thinking about getting a, uh, a kit to install a, a drip system as well. Uh, so I'll be dripping fresh water into these tanks. Uh, of course it's city water so uh, I'll need to dose for uh, uh, chloridamines and uh, I think uh, I might get a, a dosage pump uh, for that as well. So uh, there'll be plenty of videos on, on setting all of this up here along this wall. But ultimately what I want to do is uh, have four tanks, four breeding tanks set up and have a different species breeding in each tank. I want them to be bare bottom, uh, no nonsense, maybe a couple sponge filters, uh, but just fish. And uh, I'm hoping that by putting the drip system in, I won't have to do water changes. I'll just do a little bit of weekly maintenance to uh, clean out the bottoms of the tanks. And uh, everything else should be great. So uh, over here is actually where I'm thinking about putting the drain in. And uh, if you follow me, I'll take you downstairs and show you where that ends up. Uh, back around here is the stairway to the basement and I'm not sure how much light we're gonna get down here um, but down here this is the corner actually uh, where I'm gonna set up my workbench and uh, so the stairway is right here to the basement and uh, right up above us is that second bedroom uh, that we were just in and the corner that I pointed out is uh, this corner right here. Uh, so this is where I'm thinking of uh, drilling the hole for the waistline. The waistline will come along here and uh, it'll slope downwards. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about using a 3 quarter inch PVC line. It'll get somewhere over here uh, past this door. Uh, I don't want to interfere with the door obviously. And then it will slope all the way down to the end of this basement it's gonna be a pretty tight fit because there's a lot of other stuff running along here so I'll have to find a good line of sight uh, for all that stuff to be set up and down here towards the end we have the washer and uh, if you'll see here I think this is a two inch pipe uh, drain pipe so the the wastewater from the washer goes straight in, into this pipe and uh, if I just get a, a reducer uh, adapter and uh, put the, the bigger end up, uh, I can expand the size of this to allow my 3 quarter inch PVC drain line to, uh, to also fit into here. And uh, that PVC line, drain line, runs uh, over there and uh, into the other side of the basement and then out uh, to, the, to the actual drain for the, for the house. 
So the other good thing about right here next to the washer is uh, the lines. Uh, so we've got hot water and cold water lines which go straight to this washer and that's going to make it really easy for me to uh, to connect a, a Y fitting here and uh, allow one side to go to the washer like it normally does but then have another side set up to go to uh, a drip irrigation kit uh, that I'll purchase and uh, again that drip line will go uh, in the exact opposite direction all the way back up over to uh, that corner uh, and then back up through the same hole that the drain line goes through so that's the plan um, this area right here is a little bit rough there's uh, some pipe sticking out of the floor it's kind of a mess I'm gonna clean that up and uh, I'm gonna think about putting in maybe like a six foot by two foot um, bench here a workbench and uh, while I'm at it uh, I think that uh, one side of that workbench is actually going to support uh, these floor joists here uh, because this is where the aquariums are running and I realize it's not ideal uh, to have them running in the same direction as these floor joists uh, but as you'll see here uh, this is a, a fairly main uh, beam here it's a lot thicker than these uh, these smaller ones so I'm hoping that um, by putting in that workbench here I can also um, span like a 4x4 or a 4x6 along two or three of these joists and uh, secure that in such a way that it's the end of my workbench but it's also supporting the uh, the floor above the center of this uh, fish room uh, wall that way um, the floor doesn't bend or bow and hopefully uh, I give the the floor a little bit more support uh, it is an older house but uh, it, it's constructed very well um, the thing is the rooms are fairly large and uh, the span is is kind of a long ways uh, to get that get to that center sorry the uh, the video is all blurry it's having a really hard time focusing down here in the dark and then the last thing I wanted to show you guys uh, just before I go is this little nook here in the very end very hard to see what's going on here because it's very dark but uh, this is towards the front of the house and uh, ironically it's just large enough to fit a 300 gallon Rubbermaid stock tank so uh, the basement doesn't seem to get very cold uh, I do have a thermometer and I'll be putting it down here and measuring the temperature outside and the temperature inside to see uh, if it fluctuates and uh, I'm also going to see if this window here and sorry you're not going to be able to see anything if that window is drafty at all and uh, if it is then maybe it isn't a very good place for a stock tank but if it isn't uh, I can certainly raise it off the floor uh, so it's not getting any any coldness from the from the floor and uh, the walls are thick enough that I think it might work actually uh, in that corner especially because there are a few heating units uh, down here and they're always kicking on and off and it's actually a fairly comfortable temperature down here it's about the same temperature as upstairs actually so uh, that's all for right now guys I'll be moving during the next week so stay tuned uh, and I'll be back so see you guys later